Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626195 here from the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last part, we got to, uh, we finished all the Post Sisters in the Forest Temple and got here. Then in this part, we're gonna fight the boss. Seems it's empty. Let's go by going back. We're trapped! It's a trap! Uh. <laughs> Ah, uh, now we have this again. It's like, what is this, like the third time we've seen this? Dan on his horse. What's it, what, the, what is he doing here? He smiles, but... What the heck? That's not Ganon! It's the evil spirit from beyond! Phantom Ganon! I'm telling you this, you're in for an epic boss today, folks! Anyway, he's gonna ride his horse into the uh, one of the paintings. Then there's gonna be two of them that come out. One of them's gonna be shinier than the other one. And then you shoot the shiny one and it's gonna go back in. Cause you know two of them two of them are gonna come out. Gonna ride in. Uh that looks like the dull one. And I guess it's the shiny one. That is the shiny one. So go back in your painting. Gosh. So let's watch for him. See where he's gonna come out. See that. Are you gonna make it easy on me? You're just gonna appear in the same one. All wow, he just appeared in the same one every single time. Now you see, this is this is Phantom Ganon. He's an evil ghost of the forest temple. He comes out of one of the pictures. He enters match attack with an attack of your own. Ow! No, oh, Link didn't have his sword out, so he didn't strike at the right time. Gotta get this at the right angle. Ow! In the right timing. These bars are in the way. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, yeah. Sometimes he laughs. There we go. Let's get a slicing on him. Ah, camera's terrible. Slice. Oh, he played Pong with me. Huh. Who would have think he'd play Pong in a place like this? Huh. That one just went way off in the wrong direction. So did that one. Yay! Hey, he wasn't expecting that one to hit him, was he? Wow. Inspect the unexpected, Phantom Ganon. Yeah, you see he's up high, so he's gonna play Pong with me. And the longer you last, like the more time he's gonna be stunned. So if you run over to him, you can get like like three or four slices in on him. See? Four slices. Holy cow, that one was really slow. Well, he looks like he's up high, so I guess he's gonna play Pong with me. Slice. Yep. He's playing Pong! He's the ping pong champion, but we are better! And we just slice him up! Slice and dice and slice and dice! He's getting weak. Fortunately, I have no way to tell the boss's HP in this game. Let's play pow! Oh, it seems that he's the ping pong champion now. So, I, I remember like whenever like uh, the old system like Pong, they used to have a little Pong tournaments and you just hear that bleeping. And he's dead! Very epic boss. Hey, this goes boop, 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 boop. Hey, kid, you did quite well. It looks like you made me gain some slight skill. Yeah? But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Yeah, you wanna bet? What a worthless creation that goes to us. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. You mean that place where Count Black lives? <laughs> Yeah. Da 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 do 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 <laughs> Wow, that was terrible. And uh, you got a heart container, you make some life is increased. We have thirteen hearts. And now you can see it's different now. We get beamed up in a big giant rupee. <laughs> I don't know what takes us up with that. I think it's encased inside a big blue rupee. Chamber of the Sages. I wonder who the change is going to be for this temple. 
Well, if you haven't guessed, it's our girlfriend from when we were younger. The one, the only Saria. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. Yes, we know who you are. I always believed that she would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. Aw. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. And she gives us the second of the six medallions. We currently have two. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's in his all glimmering green glory. Currently, uh, one third of the way done with the medallions. You see the forest medallion. Sorry, as we're gonna say, it's as your power to yours. Sorry, will always be your friend. Aw, that's so sweet. It's just little things like that you can, like, always notice. Hey, we're back at the old Deku Tree location. See, he's all closed up now. Well, what the heck is that? <laughs> Link is all like, um, <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> it just it does this big, huge thing. I was like, Aah! Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse in the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, little buddy. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your old grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. It's like the guys from Peter Pan. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hellion. Ooh, spoilers. I'm happy to finally reveal a secret to you. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not a spoiler, it's like, <gasps> PLOT TWISTS! Dun dun dun! Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells! <laughs> One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hillian mother and her baby boy, her, her boy, entered this forbidden forest, my boy. I am handing you to the Deku Tree. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was entrusted to the child of the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The forest. The forest. The orbit. The Deku Tree could sense that this was the child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. The forest is too scary, Mommy. I don't want to go. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised to Kokiri. Now, finally, the day of destiny has come. Yes, the day of destiny. It is because it was always destined to happen. You are a Hillian, and you are always bound to leave the forest. And now you have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. What, mu what, mu what must I do? That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Okay. <laughs> Link's walking forward because I during that cutscene I messed up my controls. So now I can just auto walk and just he tur just turn him. <laughs> it's just real fun. We I'm not even doing anything. It's just walking forward. And if I hold back, he just stops. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Is he gonna jump? Yeah, he jumps on his own. This is so fun. We. Wee! If I slice my sword, though, he stops walking. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's just so fun. I don't know why I'm so excited. He's just walking on his own. Wee! Wee! Can we still get the rupees from the jumping? Nope, it doesn't work. Anyway, that's about it for this part. We finished the, uh, the forest temple. And in the next part, we'll just hang around Hyrule. See you guys later.